Hello everyone, Gerard here. I am old enough to have used a real typewriter when I was a kid and personal computers and printers were not widespread. I still have vivid memories of typing some schoolwork and the fear of making a mistake that would require my parents' help to use the white ink corrector and deliver a less than perfect job or in extreme cases, force me to start over. And let me tell you, if we take into account the difference that always exists in the precision of a metal mechanism when compared with a plastic one, the LEGO typewriter is incredibly faithful to the feel of using a real typewriter. But let's dive into all the functionality. The first thing to do when using a typewriter is to put the paper in place. So let's start with the paper feeder. The set comes with a letter by Thomas Kirk Christiansen, chairman of the board of the LEGO Group, representing the fourth generation of the owner family. The letter is available in 43 different languages, and I believe it shows that the chairman of the LEGO Group felt this set as one close to his heart. I chose to display the letter in my native language, Portuguese. To add the letter, you insert it in the paper feeder, upside down and wave the clean side facing you, and you rotate the handle. You might need to gently push it to help the feeder grab the paper. This is exactly as in a real typewriter, including this bar that helps keep the paper in place. This small lever allows you to choose if you want to write in black or red, but in this typewriter it actually doesn't do anything, as this part that looks like the ink ribbon is completely static. With everything set, we can start typing. This is clearly the strongest functionality. The feeling of the keys and the strength we need to use to press them is exactly as in a typewriter. Of course, instead of one hammer per key, we have one single hammer that is triggered with any letter key. The others are there just to keep the similar design. And of course, doesn't actually print anything. The keys are also a bit bigger, I think, although I love the round design but the fact that we have only letters and are missing the numbers is a bit of a letdown. When we type, the carriage moves like in a real typewriter and we can push it back. But be careful, you need to push on the carriage and not on the carriage return lever, as you would in a real one. It doesn't work and is quite frail. The instruction book warns about this issue. The LEGO Ideas typewriter is a very diverse building experience. There's never a dull moment. Sometimes you build things that only inspire you to do some abstract art. Just to be later surprised with how they are used and their role in the build. During the construction of the mechanical parts, I always felt the need to be extra focused. Maybe because I'm not used to doing technique builds. I was afraid to reach the end only to find that the typewriter was not working as expected. Although, as the build progresses, one can get an idea of how the several mechanisms interact, when I finished and everything worked flawlessly, I couldn't avoid the feeling of having witnessed a small miracle. And of course, a great sense of achievement for not screwing up anything during the build process. The set has 2079 parts, with a retail price of 200 euros or 200 dollars, which is a price per piece ratio much worse than other sets I have bought recently, and more aligned with the values for licensed sets. But if we think about it, it's actually completely justified. This set has a lot of technical parts, and I have checked other complex technical sets, and their price per piece ratio is much higher. Another thing to consider is that this set has several very special parts, like the shock absorbers in pearl, gold and grey a bunch of parts in metallic silver, 32 printed parts for the keys, and even some of the new 1x5 plates, though these do not contribute to the high price. With so many printed parts, LEGO still managed to include two stickers. Here, and here so that I don't lose the opportunity to ruin the set with my usual talent to apply them. 
By the way, if you think that my skills doing LEGO set reviews are better than my skills applying stickers, I would really appreciate if you hit that thumbs button. Thank you. <laughs> the LEGO Ideas typewriter might be the perfect set to appeal to both Technique and non-Technique LEGO builders. The mechanical parts are the heart of this set, as the functions are really the WOW factor. But even forgetting about those, this is still a gorgeous model, incredibly accurate and detailed. This is what sets it apart, the fact that its core is a Technic model but has none of the bulky and unfinished feeling that usually puts me off in the Technic sets. It was a different building experience for me, but an extremely satisfying and rewarding one. Maybe because I was out of my comfort zone in the mechanical parts, finishing it gave me a great sense of accomplishment. I highly recommend this set to any adult fan of LEGO, as I believe that it will satisfy a broad range of LEGO builders. You will have a ton of fun building it, and in the end, you'll get an awesome display piece for your office or living room. Now, go check another one of my reviews right here, and I'll see you all very soon.